The Reese Report with Al and Laura Reese. Sad days at Sears. Sears is America's oldest retailer, started back in the 1800s. From 1910 to 1991, Sears was America's largest retailer. It was the gold standard in retailing, high-flying as a retailer and also as a stock. But in 1992, Walmart was passed by Sears, and today, Walmart is the big boy of retailing. And look at their market value today. Sears has not done well as a stock. They're valued currently at $15 billion, while Walmart is at $205 billion, almost 13 times as much. So what happened? What went wrong with Sears? Well, it's simple. They expanded the brand when they should have contracted the brand. And this has happened to so many companies and so many powerful brands. They lost their focus and it undermined their brand. Sears' advertising slogans over the years, well, just look at them. Where else? Good life, great price, where it begins. All really meaningless and nothing to do with Sears and not memorable in the mind. In fact, they're all terrible. And really, that's what you get. When you sell everything, it's hard to come up with a powerful slogan. You can't stand for anything if you are selling everything. Now, wait a minute, you might be thinking, Walmart sells everything and Walmart's a powerful brand. Well, yes, they are. But they do own a specific idea in the mind, and that is the idea of always low prices. And this is the key to Walmart's success. And they have not had success when they've expanded into things like high fashion that have really little to do with always low prices. Sears used to have an idea owned in the mind. That was Cheapest Supply House. Here it is prominently displayed on their catalog, Cheapest Supply House. Very nice, but since then they've really lost their way. They had the famous stocks to socks strategy, if you can believe it. One store that could satisfy all your needs, socks to socks. Did that make sense? I don't think so. I mean, they expanded into things like insurance with Allstate, real estate with Colwell Banker, investments with Dean Witter, and of course the Discover credit card. It was a disaster. And Sears has since spun off everything. What is Sears today? Well, they're into everything. On their sign here, they say they're apparel, brand central, and hardware. Not a very focused strategy indeed. The softer side of Sears was a very, very famous campaign in trying to move Sears, a hardware leader, into the softer side of retail. And some of the ads were indeed quite humorous. The Die Hard battery, very famous at Sears, it, the ad said, I came in for a Die Hard and left with something drop dead, a, a fabulous fashion outfit. I don't think so. I'm not going to get my fashion from the same place I get my car batteries. Come on. And they've also got many other Sears branded businesses, from Sears Business Systems to Sears Dry Cleaners, Sears Nursery, Sears Vinyl Siding, and Kitchen Cabot Refacing. So many Sears. It is boggling to the mind what a Sears really is. And of course, recently we've seen the Kmart Plus Sears. Hey guys, two losers do not make a winner. We certainly know that math. Of course, initially the media applauded. Eddie's master stroke, said Business Week. And Wall Street applauded too. Walmart's stock price went up 8%. Sears went up 17%. But look where it has gotten us. Recently, the CEO has had to step down amid dismal sales and horrible stock price. So what should Sears do? It's easy. They should narrow the focus. That's not something Eddie Lampart wanted to do, the high-flying hedge fund manager that is the mastermind behind this. And he's actually stepping back, realizing that things aren't going his way. Perhaps now they will narrow the focus. Our recommendation to Sears focus on appliances. This has been their strength for 50 plus years. They've always been about hardware. It's always been silliness going to the softer side of Sears. They have some of the best brands in the business, like Craftsman Tools, Die Hard Batteries, and Kenmore Appliances. 
It never made any sense that Sears bought retailer Land's End. What they should have spent their money on is something like Black & Decker, another appliance brand to add to their arsenal. The appliance market? Well, Sears is dominant. They have 33%. Lowe's has 16 and Home Depot has 9%. A new position for Sears? the world's largest appliance store. There's always advantages in being the leader and dominant brand. The world's largest appliance store has bigger selection, better service, and lower price. And that could be Sears if they narrow the focus. This is Laura Reese, and this has been The Reese Report.